Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Raymond and today we're going to do the very first video of our channel and of course we're going to be reviewing this uh, Gemini this Gemini uh, CRJ200 uh, model so I got this uh, down at Pearson Airport um, there was this place called Threshold Aviation and right beside it was was uh, Aviation World which a lot of you already probably know exists but unfortunately it was closed due, uh, due to a power outage so I had to go to Threshold Aviation to get this. Now this was uh, around $86 Canadian, which I think is a little bit a little bit too high, but the model aircraft itself is very nice. So let's move on to the aircraft. The aircraft was in the box, of course, and it also came with the stand. Now the stand came in three pieces. There was this piece with the connector in the middle, and there were these three rods which are for the legs and on the legs there were these uh little rubber balls i guess to grip onto the, the surface but i had to remove them because i thought they were kind of ugly and the connector piece this part i did not like the natural color of the rubber so i painted it black with just normal acrylic paint and a paintbrush so the aircraft itself now as you may know gemini is extremely focused on detail and as you can see uh they've got the cfb 31 engines left and right and uh this is a uh, air canada express so you got the registration number uh, c f i j a you got the tail with the air canada logo very nicely printed on and uh, got the door and the correct number of windows and on the other side you have the same amount of detail and as you can see right here I don't know if you can see it's a little bit hard to make out but it says Bombardier CRJ 200 now moving on to the bottom this is what I really want to talk about now this is really cool you got the landing gear the landing gear it can actually move, it can roll. You can see this. Yeah, it rolls. It cannot retract, but the material used on the landing gear, I'm a little bit worried about because that looks really fragile. See, if I, if I tap it just like that, it actually wiggles. Now, a lot of people have uh, complained about their landing gear falling off and breaking, and that is one of the things I wish Gemini would improve on in the future. And uh, yeah, Gemini Jets right on the bottom. So, you can put the aircraft on the stand, like so. Just take the stand and put it into the hole on the bottom. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to do, but it fits. Packaging is really nice. You got a button, open and close it with. Inside, we've got the classic styrofoam, which the uh, aircraft came in, right there. So overall, a very nice model, a little bit iffy on the bottom, and the price, I think it's just a tiny bit too high, maybe 60 bucks would uh, do it for a 1-200 scale of such a small aircraft, but uh, yeah, very nice model. and. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to help my journey into growing my channel. And thank you and until next time, bye.